Hi everybody. So in 1878, Edison got a patent for this. Now to watch it, it's absolutely mesmeric. He called it his phonomotor or his vocal engine. And it was pulled out from the work that he'd been doing with the phonograph and voice recording. He wanted it as an instrument to be able to measure the power of sound in terms of mechanical effort. But it was much more powerful than he thought. And he was able to do things with it like you drive a saw or drive a drill. And all it really is is a vibrating membrane attached to a pole and ratchet system and that pushes the flywheel around creating that circular motion. So mechanically it's actually quite simple. Now of course Edison was in a time when he really didn't have particularly powerful magnets. So if we want to look at that and think about that in terms of energy scavenging we probably don't need all that mechanical bit because of course we've got these. This is a speaker and it's got a magnet and a coil in it and if I put a current down that coil it will vibrate the speaker element which is exactly how we hear sound. But speakers are designed to spread sound outwards and you can yell at that all day long if you like but you won't produce very much. What Edison did of course was this shape. This shape is a sound collection horn so it'll collect the sound and then bounce it at a membrane on this surface much more efficiently than that will. Now I produced this in Tinkercad along with the faceplate and of course I've put these things on Thingiverse so if anybody's interested in this then they'll be able to print it off and reproduce it. The plan is you put a sound down there there'll be a membrane across here and we'll be able to vibrate that membrane more efficiently than we could vibrate it with that. Now, Edison used a sheet of micro 0.11 millimeters thick. We're not going to use mica for that membrane. We're going to use this. It's a bit of cellophane. Cellophane's available all over the place. Uh, florists use it to wrap flowers, but I got mine from a bit of electrician's tape. It's the packing and electrician's tape. And all we're really going to do is glue that on there, stick a magnet and a coil arrangement on it, and shout down the horn and see what we get. So first things first, let's glue that on there. If we glue that on there, we can put some glue on. But I'm just going to use double-sided tape and put some double-sided tape all around this horn. Now I've done that, I can take my bit of cellophane and pop it onto that double-sided tape and pull it so it's reasonably tight. When I've done that and trimmed it off, what you'll have is a bit of a drum skin. Now it'll be quite slack because you'll never get this more than reasonably tight and it'll give a dull kind of thud. To tighten that up then we take a hairdryer and point a hairdryer at it because cellophane shrinks with heat. When you've done that what you'll end up with is a reasonably tight drum. Now we want the next bit. For this bit we need this. Now you will notice that it's flat to that side and indentation on that side. We need the flat outside because on there we put a coil. Now I've got this coil from the turntable motor and it will just glue straight on there making sure that the hole can go through and then that goes on there like that. What we do then is grab some of these and these are just uh, neodymium magnets. They're 15 millimeter by 5 millimeter, and you'll need two of them. And for this you put a bit of double sided tape and then pop that through the centre there and just press it until it glues. <laughs> I've got it set up. I'm going to yell down it now and we'll see what voltage we get. Okay, I've got it set up again and I've got a, a little LED right there. We're going to see if we can light the LED by yelling at it. Think I'm cracked. <laughs> bum, 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 bum. <laughs> <laughs>
We got the voltage from it. We actually managed to light that, which is incredible really when you think all I'm doing is yelling down the tube. Now I've been told that when a football crowd roars, so 10,000 people all cheering, there's not enough energy in there to boil an egg. So we've managed to get something out of it from scavenging the sound around us. Whether it's useful or not, I suppose is questionable, but Edison did say that you could drill holes with this. So maybe we could get a better result from it. It's certainly a proof of concept. We certainly can scavenge energy from sound and I'm going to have to go and apologize to my neighbors for yelling bomb down the tube at them. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you very much for watching and please do remember to like and subscribe.